the shots. All Saints, Sundays at 3.30 on the Hallmark Channel. Whoever shot Antonovich, he knew them well enough to turn his back on them. No sharpshooter needed this time. Sarge, crime scene have located his weapon stash. Very impressive. Machine guns, hand grenades, thousands of rounds of ammo. Rifles? Oh, yeah, two. The same two that were used in the robbery. There were three noted on the register of evidence in Lieutenant Jensen's trial. So he's got the third one. And Antonovich isn't going to be any help now, is he? Sarge. Make sure you sign the paperwork when you log this in. Yeah. Yes, Superintendent. I want to cock up the chain of evidence. This links Antonovich to our bullion guys. So, how did it end up here? The shape of a boot tread uh, commando song, maybe. Well, how do you get gold caught in the tread of a boot? You melt it. Enjoy your Chinese. Gwen's got lovely roast on. So Antonovich was definitely killed by one of our robbers. Anything strike you about all this? Big time robbery, high end gun dealer. Jarvis's mob not being able to pick up anything on the street. What, new boys in town? Could be from overseas, previously connected. That was a very good thought. I'll get a request off to Winterhall with Antonovich's prints and photo. Let them know where he washed up. Known associates with a history of similar jobs might help. Hmm. I'll give Jarvis the heads up. Interpol, good. Yeah, I'll pitch the idea of an inside man as the MO. Good idea. In my experience, job this big, usually inside info's to go. Speaking of which... Antonovich getting himself whacked. What do you make of that? What do you mean? We discover his identity and he's killed before we get a chance to speak to him. Yeah, the thought had crossed my mind. Next lead we get, Stan. We play our cards a bit closer to our chest, eh? Oh, yes, hello. It's Stanley Wolf here, Susan Wolf's father. Uh, we had a meeting with Susan's teacher this evening. Uh, I've been trying to contact my wife, but the phone's turned off, so they're probably uh, already in the meeting. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I wonder if you could tell them that I have been delayed somewhat, uh, but I will be there as they be. Yeah. That'd be good. Thank you. Uh, Wolf? Yeah, Stanley Wolf. Thank you. Bye. Starter. Sorry, it's not takeaway. I'm half as sorry as I am. If I have to look at one more personnel file, I'm going to go blind. I'm used to being a bit more physical. So how'd you get to armed robbery? Jarvis recruited her from Arthur. I asked her around. It pays to know who you're working with. Oh, yeah? You'd be the one who punched my boss in the face, right? So there are no matches at all? OK, thanks. Hey, uh, since we're caring and sharing, I've got something. Charles... Wicker. What about him? Charlie didn't turn up on our first run because he's a subcontractor. He runs a security company. One of his assignments used to be the warehouse that got hit. Oh, bloody hell. He's a POM, married, emigrated three years ago. AGB security check gave him a clean sheet. But? I just checked with immigration. They've got no record of him or his wife coming into the country. As far as they're concerned, he doesn't exist. Hot shot. Good one. Nice job, Maddie. Looks like a pretty hard character. He's smart too if he slipped past AGB and immigration. So, what have you got for me? <sighs> Bloody hell, what are you doing here?
getting repetitive. Yes, certainly is. Put them all in pairs, door knocking. Someone must have seen something. One AR, one homicide in each pairing might be a good idea. Be a good idea. I think it's time to say what we didn't say before. Oh, you can't be serious. <clears throat> Wick is one coincidence too many. Someone's tipping him off. Every lead we get, they snuff it out, literally. Well, who knew about our interest in Wicker? All the stands crew. And Carmelo Lachlan, who could have told any one of your mob. Yeah, I trust my life. Yeah, we trust our people too. It could have been anyone. They didn't have to pull the trigger. All they needed was enough time to make a quick phone call. Yeah, well, the shooters got there bloody fast. Which means they're smelting the gold somewhere reasonably close to the Wicker house. So we have a more defined search radius. And we point that out to our rat too, do we? We're going to have to. But from now on, we need to know exactly where our people are whenever we break any new information. All of them. Complete waste of time, that door knock. Calabrese just got everyone's backs up straight away. Talk about aggressive. The Lachlan's the same. She's not into the finer points of public relations either. Yeah, they're into something. What do you mean? It means what we're all thinking. Someone's tipping off the people that we're after. It isn't one of us. So do you think? Freeman. You seen his sheet? My flags on a footy file. Nah, I'm for Joanna. Why? Why? He's too nice, to be honest. I suggest you keep them in pairs, mixed doubles. Already done. Don't have even numbers. Well, put Sparks with one of ours, then. You do trust Sparks? Yeah, sure. OK, mixed doubles. Question is, who's watching who? Even numbers. It's not a competition, Terry. We've got a problem, let's solve it together. We've already got five dead bodies. Seven, possibly. The missing security guards. You just think I uh, care about the money, don't you, Stan? Don't you? You think I don't care about the people that have been killed? Their families? I'll tell you something, Stan. I do. I worked on my side. I cared. I cared too bloody much. I cared so much. Money's easier. But you're right, we do have a problem. And, be it yours or mine, we've got to solve it together, so. Stanley, we got something.